Adventure titles seem to be a dime a dozen nowadays. Still, despite the frequency in the gaming market, it's always remarkable when it's done correctly and how much that allows them to stand out. There's a sense of discovery within the genre that developer Max Mraz seems to have implemented in his newest game, Ocean's Heart. With a retro style and witty dialogue, Ocean's Heart shines its brightest as you're exploring towns and interacting with NPCs. The blasé, nonchalant humor of the dialogue always got a light chuckle out of me. It clearly showed that the writers understood the tropes within the genre and used that to their advantage to make each of these interactions individually stand out. During my time with an early demo build, I did not get a sense of the main story in any way. Instead, I was thrown into a side quest that directly shows the type of gameplay loop this title will provide. After a brief introductory segment, you wake up on an island with all your gear gone, which is where the exploration truly begins. Ocean's Heart's gameplay, while nothing particularly noteworthy, gets the fundamentals right. The inclusion of rolling makes world traversal swift, allowing you to pretty much follow the beat of your own drum. There are several obtained items such as bombs and bow and arrows, which all serve rather self-explanatory roles. I can't deny that the general movement and combat were extremely reminiscent of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, which this title is clearly inspired from, but it did not feel identical. Instead of being a carbon copy, the overall atmosphere of the world built upon the writing and narrative of Discovery felt unique and well earned. Also, the gameplay loop came off a bit more challenging when compared to other Zelda titles. At the very least, I promised that I didn't find myself constantly comparing it to Zelda as I was playing and instead felt a mild sense of engrossment in the brevity of the world that lay before me puzzle and progression were never too obvious. They each provided a sense of accomplishment after completing and requires some experimentation and attention to the world design and dialogue. The primary complaint I have from this demo, which lasted for its entire duration, was its enemy design. Enemies came out in droves and in seemingly almost every single screen I found myself in. While the concept behind the enemies telegraphs work well in theory, there are way too many on screen at once and it just makes combat a mashy, frustrating experience. If the enemy design is cleaned up a fair amount, I can see Ocean's Heart being a fairly strong adventure game that can stand out on its own without need for comparison. Ocean's Heart is in development for PC via Steam. Thank you for watching. Please read the full preview on NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.